Hello friends, it is so good to be sitting in front of the camera after being so sick last weekend. Last weekend is the first time I haven't filmed since I started the channel in December. So uh, it felt really weird, but it feels so good to be back in front of the camera. If you are new here, welcome, 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 welcome. I am so excited that you decided to watch this video. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, look no further, my friend, because this place is for you. So you might as well just go ahead and click that little red subscribe button. And if you are following me here, you might as well go hang out with me over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. We have an awesome community over there. It is a great way for us to talk and touch base daily. You can ask me tons of questions. I answer every single YouTube comment. I try to answer as many Instagram comments as I possibly can, but we have an awesome, awesome community and I would highly encourage you to join it. Today, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be walking you through my weekly bullet journal setup. This is only my third week in a bullet journal and I have to tell you, I love it more than any any planning system I have ever used. I feel so creative. I'm having so much fun. I love thinking about what I can do next. So now let's go ahead and dive into the weekly setup. And this week I finally had this like inspirational moment that made me realize what I wanted to do with my weekly setups. Because before I was just like mimicking things that I saw other people do. And I realized that if I want this to feel really personal, if I want it to feel really creative, it has to be something in me that resonates with me, that means something to me. And I love quotes. You guys know when you share a quote over on Instagram, I always like write you back and say, oh my goodness, I'm putting this in my journal. Thank you so much. This is my quote of the day. Um, so I literally have hundreds of quotes written all over the place. And I was like, how can I use those more frequently? And I decided that I'll choose one quote a week. And that quote will drive the layout for that entire week so that it really like sinks in and I have a time to really enjoy that quote. So if you're following me on Instagram, you know that the quote I chose this week was, you have been given this mountain to prove that it can be moved. And now you're going to get to see how I incorporated this quote to drive the way I set up my week in my bullet journal. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the weekly spread. Like I said, I'm using one quote to really drive everything for that week. So the quote I chose is, you've been given this mountain to prove it can be moved. And I just did a simple mountain landscape with some geometric design. <laughs> Ignore the scale of my trees to the mountains. I am not an artist. Um, but after I drew them, I'm like, wow, the trees are about the same size as the mountains. So then I played with this idea of mountains and translated it into my daily setups. So I keep it simple, write the day at the top and the date. And then I played with this idea of using three mountains, one for morning, one for afternoon, one for evening. And I just put the timestamps in and I went from 5 a.m. till 9 p.m. Added a simple to-do box and the weather. And you will see as we go through pages, I played with the arrangement of the three mountains. Now this line is by no means perfect. I use a ruler when I draw it out with pencil, but I freehand it when I go back over with the black marker because I kind of actually like when things are a little crooked or a little less than perfect. I think it adds this really cool vibe to the bullet journal and it really does look hand done. I don't like it when it's all perfect lines and you have to sweat every detail. And this is actually helping me overcome my need for perfection in my planner, which I think is leading to some of the peaks. You can see that I just do that the rest of the week, playing with the mountain ranges. 
Then we get to my people boxes. This is a box for every person that I meet with during the week. You will see that some people's boxes are larger. That's simply that I have more to tell them, not that I love them or care for them any less, but I just meet with those people more frequently and have a lot more information to pass on. And then I just played with the mountains again here to keep the theme running and I just wrote to the top and I did a better job scaling my trees. And then my last pages in my weekly setup are my daily cleanup sheets and my weekly cleanup sheets. In my daily cleanup sheets, these are the tasks that I wanna do Monday through Sunday and just a simple place to check them off. Things like making the bed, sweeping the floors, washing dishes, laundry, sorting the mail, those kinds of things. My weekly cleanups are more specific to zones in the house and the tasks that need to get done every week for those zones. That's just how I do it. This one I actually did use the ruler for and make it a little bit more perfect just because I wanted it to be really neat. That's my weekly setup for my bullet journal. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you click subscribe and follow me here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.